What's good YouTube Underworld 6667 here coming at you once again with another episode instructing you upon life and life choices and all that kind of shit especially when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! You can leave in the comment section down below your suggestion or your idea of what you would like me to comment or talk about in a video. I'm hoping to make a video every single Wednesday so make sure that you put it down below so I can find out what you want and then make it. So this video is brought to you not by a viewer but by the stinky fuck who is running on the treadmill beside me at the gym. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about more not the gym aspect, but the Yu-Gi-Oh! players at YCS events, at regional events, and at local events. If you have somebody who suffers from this stinky syndrome, please make sure that they view this video, because it is packed with the information they need to no longer smell like a pig's ass. Now behind me, there are some special products. Most people don't know they exist, but I do, because I don't smell like a fucking ass when I go to events. I use all of these products, that way, that doesn't happen. As you can see, there are quite a number of different items. If you can't see, I'll pick each one up and show you, as well as instruct you on the proper uses of it. The first is what we call body wash. We're choosing Irish Spring body wash today because it allows you for eight hours of awesome scent protection deodorant shit. In other words, it allows you of eight hours of not smelling like pig's anus. Now what you do is while you are in the shower, the shower is the thing with the water that comes down and sprays you sometimes. Sometimes it's got a hose where you pick it up and you spray it on yourself and you smell oh so much better than the ass that you normally smell like. Okay, so first you take your damn bottle of Irish Spring, you're going to put some into your hand. Very easy, as you guys can see. Now you're going to take that and you're going to rub it all over your body. Just ever so slightly, get the problem areas, get underneath there, get underneath there, you know, get underneath there, and then you're going to do your face. Now, Okay, that was a bad idea. Uh, let's go back in front of the computer and I'm going to show you over there. Now what you do is you open up the top of the bottle like this, you turn it over and squirt some into your hand. Once in your hand, you rub it on your body. That way, it coats your body in this lovely Irish Spring smell. Now make sure that you cover your entire body, but don't put it in your mouth and don't put it in your eyes. I would suggest not putting it in your anus, but that's totally up to you, whatever you're into, bro. The next thing is almost the same. It's called Irish Spring Bar Soap. What you do is it comes in a little tiny package, usually quite a few in a package, so you have a lot of protection. Now this also allows for some extra hours of awesome protection. Now it comes like this, and you also use it in the shower. Fucking smelly people. All you need to do is put a little bit of water on it, rub it around a little bit in your hand until little tiny bubbles are forming in your palm. Then you rub it on your problem areas, aka your fucking smelly pits, your fucking smelly private parts, maybe your chest, also your legs. My suggestion is also go with the arms. There's tons of places where you could apply this that will make you not smell like a pig's anus. Once again, don't put it in your mouth or in your eyes. That's good advice. The next thing, which is super awesome, is for your hair. Wow, there's soap for your hair? What will they invent next? This is called anti-dandruff shampoo because I don't want to spend the extra money on head and shoulders. What the fuck is head and shoulders? Don't worry about it, it's not important. All you need to do is find something that says shampoo. Most hotels give it out for free. Holy shit. Why not use something you get for free anyways? All you need to do, once again, just like the Irish ring, you open up the lid very, very easily. Oh my god, that was amazing. All you need to do, flip it over once again, and pour a little bit into your hand. 
apply directly to your head where your hair is. If you're like me, there's other hair other places. Then you lather. What lathering is, is you go like this. And all over your head. Congratulations, you probably are crying because you're stupid and you got it in your eyes. Because there's no other reason why you're watching this video unless you're stupid and don't know how to use shampoo. Anyways, time to rinse off the shampoo, apply water directly to the soapy area, and you're good to go. To the next phase. We're not done yet, smelly fuck. As you can see, there are multiple different products that are still available on this lovely shelf that's actually a card box. The next is actually called Axe Deodorant Body Spray. Now this stuff is to make you smell oh so much better. It accompanies with the soap, so you're supposed to apply this afterwards. All you need to do is twist the cap. There's a little tiny spout here. Spray across your chest under your armpit, under your armpit. If you're a fat, smelly, ugly fuck, you might want to apply to your legs and arms as well. Just in case, people, just in case. These people really do smell like pig's anus. And I'm trying to help. I'd rather smell way too much perfume than pig's anus. How about you? The next thing is very, very new on the market. It's called Dino deodorant. Deodorant. Deodorant is easily accessible in most dollar stores as well as at your local grocery store. Walmart, Walgreens, tons of different places that start with W. Deodorant is applied directly to the undersides of your arms. If you don't know how to apply this, stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you're obviously too stupid to figure out deodorant, therefore you're too stupid to figure out combos. Not that hard to understand. Last but not least is the most expensive thing in your arsenal. Now I wouldn't suggest this for everybody, but it is kind of a good thing to have. It's called cologne. This is called Paco Rabanne One in a Million. Smells great. All the ladies will probably still look at you in disgust because you're a fat, smelly fuck. And cologne doesn't provide miracles. However, it will make you smell slightly nicer. So you won't be as much of an ugly fuck if you smell just that much more pretty. This you apply once directly onto your neck, once directly onto your wrist, rub and apply behind your ears just in case for some fucked up reason, some girl wants to hug a smelly fuck who used to smell like a pig's anus because of some reason. Maybe you saved her from evil hamburgers by eating them all. I'm not gonna make assumptions, however this is a possibility. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have an idea of a topic that you'd like me to cover, all you need to do, leave it in the comment section down below. I'm gonna warn you, if it's the most interesting thing, I'm probably gonna choose that. If it's, what do you think is the best deck of the format? You can go fuck yourself. Thank you guys once again for watching, and as always, don't make those binder blunders and smell like a pig's anus. If anyone really questions, I am not wearing pants in this video either. Who's on the fucking bed?